Strict orders not to let anyone in the house. Unannounced. Especially if the master is asleep. Well, that's good evidence for us. This guy looks like the classic limp. No, he doesn't. He looks like the guy with the pitchfork from American Gothic. And upside, he doesn't have a pitchfork, so let's punch him in the face. Sacco. You knocked the butler out with a tremendous punch. He now lies in an unconscious heap. Works for me. Okay, I believe in that door is the kitchen, which is useless. So let's go up here. And I think that a sleep dude is in that far room. So let's. Okay. No, wait, that's not a sleep dude. I don't know who dude that is. It's a sleeping woman. Oh, cheap perfume. Oh, I just skipped that. Damn it. Um. The that cheap perfume. That's uh, what's your nuts from uh, who works at? Okay, let me start that over. It's got to be the secretary from Joey's bar, who we know was having an affair with Mr. Sternwood and is trying to get him to divorce her. This is looking even more and more like a setup. So that's good. Alright. We got memos, we got pens, we got glasses. It's a blank notepad. You notice that the top sheet of the pad has several indentations on it. Ooh, this is going to be a fun spy trick in a minute here. Um, this other stuff is ridiculously useless, as you'll see. Ball pen. It's a ballpoint pen. Oh, you don't get the... It, it's out of ink if you try to use it on anything. And it's a pair of reading glasses. I don't see how those could come in handy, but let's grab them just in case. Alright. Anyway. <coughs> now, has anyone figured out what the spy trick is, is yet? Let's look at what we have in our inventory. Alright. And that's everything. So, what do we do? Oldest trick in the book. Rub the pencil on the indentations on the memo pad. And the truth shall sell. The truth shall set you free. And by you I mean us. Uh memo. Using the pencil to shade over the indentations on the pad, you are now able to read the indentations. That's poorly written. So let's read them. Uh, that was the beep to tell me that I have a new Gmail message. Yay. Anyway. Timetables. 2.15 a.m. Be sure Joe's bar is closed up and all employees are gone. I'm not going to read all these. You can read them yourself. Oh, yes, I will. Have the missus situated in the woman's stall. Make sure she's bound and unconscious. 2.45 a.m. Be waiting near the bar front door for Ace's arrival. 3 a.m. Put Ace in stall. Be sure he's unconscious. Inject him with 10 cc of diethanol trimine. Yep, that explains a lot. Take his gun and stuff. 3.15 a.m. Wait for Shegel. 3.30 a.m. Get Shigo behind his desk. Then plug him with Ace's gun. Get Shigo's car keys. 3.45. Plant Shigo's things on Ace. Put Ace's gun back. Be sure his fingerprints are on it. 4 a.m. Dump big misses in Shigo's car. Put stuff in glove box. Put car key in Ace's coat. Put other key in safe. 4.30 a.m. Leave barn lock up. Be sure not to leave ransom case behind. 5 a.m. On the way home, plant new seagull letter in Ace's file. What a setup! Yes, I noticed this earlier. If you don't do something soon, they'll nail you for murder and kidnapping. And that'd be bad. Boy, this is a nightmare. You'll have to get complete proof 
of your innocence to the cops. Yes. Yes, we will. Alright. Let's move on. We managed to do that quite stealth stealthily, I might add. Um, let's go into Sleeping Man's bedroom. Because if Sleeping Chick didn't wake up, then Sleeping Man probably won't either. And if they're having this big grand affair, why are they sleeping in separate rooms? And that's the 40s. You're in the master bedroom, which looks shockingly similar to the not master bedroom, except for the plaid orange wallpaper. There's a man asleep in the bed. Alright. Let's check this stuff out. It's a briefcase that you recall having carried a while ago. Why did I carry it? What? I have no idea what that could have to do with anything. Open the briefcase. It's empty as shit. Let's take it. It's amazing the amount of stuff that we're capable of carrying. Alright. Okay, I don't want to take it. Um, let's open the drawer. Open the night's boot. Tissue, candy box, useless, useless. And envelope three. Let us take it. And we will find out what's inside of it next time. Stefan Scott. And uh, peace to you, you all that got cluttered. Okay, bye.